So, let us um, look into a general um, generalized linear discrete time model. Often we will find these models uh, very useful in practice. So, the general equation for a linear discrete time model is given by summation a k y of n minus k, k going from 0 to p equals summation b k f of n minus k, k equals 0 to q. So, this f is basically the input or the forcing function and this is the output y is the output which self expresses itself with the various delays itself expresses itself with various delays. Now, when p equals 0, equation 1 is a moving average. So, when p equals 0 basically you just um, are looking at one term right and the scalar a naught can be pulled outside. So, you just have y n and this is basically the average of the forcing function and the average it is it is a it is it, there is some weight weight to this average via these b case. So, when p equals 0 equation 1 is a moving average signal since we scale the input over a q plus 1 window q plus 1 because from k equals 0 to q you have q plus 1 points. So, therefore, over a k q plus 1 window you are going to average the signal. Now, when q equals 0 with a naught equal to 1 this is interesting because we have y of n equals b naught f of n minus summation a k y of n minus k k going from 1 to p. Okay. Now, just rewriting this equation again right. So, this is the forcing part and the output at time n depends upon the previous outputs at various time delays at n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 so on. So, this is essentially an auto regressive model. So, this general equation is basically the auto regressive moving average model and it is also called ARMA model auto regressive moving average. So, when p equals 0 it becomes moving average when q equals 0 it becomes auto regressive right it is auto regressive model of order of order p. Why it is called auto regressive? Because this signal y of n self expresses itself, it self expresses itself and therefore, it is called an auto regressive model and these models can be expressed in the form of a signal flow graph that all of us are familiar from undergraduate signals and systems. So, let us try 
to realize the system as a signal flow graph. Okay, now, how do we get this graph? Now, we have various tab delays. Now, we have a forcing function f of n at this point it is scaled by b 0 and gets to the output. Then f of n going through this delay is f of n minus 1 f of n minus 1 is scaled by b 1 and then gets to the output so on and so forth. You can think of having all these gains b naught, b 1, b 2 so on taken off at various tab delays they get summed. So, that is one component for y of n, but also y of n can be expressed as a regression from the outputs at various other delays right. So, therefore, now from this delay you can have a feed this is a feed forward path I am giving you the arrows in the forward direction that is why it is a feed forward path plus we also have a feed back path right from this delay there is a feedback path we have a minus a 1 as a gain it just goes back into the feedback path and then at this point we have minus a 2 as a gain and that gets to the feedback path and so on and so forth. Basically at various tab delays you should uh, have a feed forward path and you have to have a feedback path and that is a general form of a signal flow graph for realizing this ARMA model right auto regressive moving average model. And this is very useful because in the later part we will build the state space representation for this generalized uh, discrete time model and we will analyze this uh, more carefully through subsequent lectures. So, we will stop here.